Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding, and today I have a big episode for my road to the 2024 Mr. Olympia series. This is one of those main matchups that a lot of people have their eyes on. This is in large part because we will be tapping Hottie Chupin for this comparison, and today he will be going up against the mutant Nick Walker. I think a lot of fans have Nick in their top fives, and Hottie not just in their top fives, but actually a bit higher. I see a lot of fans saying he's on lock for top two, just like last year. Well, this Olympia will not be like last year, and Nick Walker is going to be a major X factor. Can Nick work his way past? Hottie and climb into the top spots at this year's contest? Or is this Hottie's comparison to lose? Let's find out. I've broken these guys down in a lineup before, but let's compare them one-on-one -on -one to really examine these guys closely. In this video, we're going to use each guy's best recent version. For Hottie, that's going to be the Arnold Classic win, and for Nick, it's going to be his New York Pro winning version from May. I know a lot of you will immediately write Nick off in this comparison, but stick around so we can really see just how close these two guys are. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump to today's video. If you guys like these types of videos and want to see more of the series, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Both gentlemen start out with a fantastic front double pose to begin this comparison. For Nick Walker, he's bringing the mass undoubtedly, but Hottie is bringing mass with class. Just take a look at the silhouettes before you even take a look at the individual body parts. Nick may have a ton of mass, but if you just saw these guys' outline, one might mistake him for a slightly humanoid brick, no offense. Being this massive has its perks, and we'll see those later on, but from the overall balance and flow perspectives, this ain't it. Nick has several issues regarding his outline. His waist is thicker and his quad sweeps aren't that good either, which is a problem that just feeds back into itself. He could have actually used a smaller waist to make his quads appear bigger, and vice versa, but there's no illusion here, it's just raw mass. His legs themselves are a little short for his body as well. I know it's an odd criticism, but once you get this big and have issues like Nick does structurally, they become even more apparent when you pack on the mass. Overall, there's just no taper or good flow to Nick's outline. For Hottie, it's the opposite. He's less muscular than Nick, but he traded off that mass for a vacuum and overall much better shape. He actually has an X-frame, which we all want. Want. So he's clearly winning the outline and flow. But we know that Nick doesn't thrive on shape, so does he win enough body parts and brute force his way to a win here? Not quite. In the legs, this is actually close. I think if we just saw them by themselves, I would narrowly go with Nick, but proportional to their own physiques, I'm giving this to Hottie because his actually fit his physique. He also has very good separation and feathering. Moving up to the midsection, it's a no-brainer. In fact, this is a stain on Nick's physique. Structural issues on one thing, but it's not just a structural issue here. His stomach has some rounding too, and it's not a good look. It ruins a lot of this pose for me. Now his lats are surprisingly good, but again, even though Hottie's a little smaller, he wins because his lats actually just fit his physique and he has the overall better upper body V taper. And finally in the arms, I think Hottie brought his up a lot. They're fairly balanced now and have good hardness, but come on, this is one area Nick Walker definitely wins. The peaks on his bias alone win him this entire area. So overall, what do I think of this pose? Well, for these comparisons, I do margins, meaning if a competitor wins a pose, he gets one to three points based on how much he won it by. If it's a clear victory, it'll be worth three points, all the way down to a narrow one point margin, which is basically a coin toss. And this one, because Hottie really has no weaknesses and Nick does, big ones too, like the structure and stomach, I have to make this a fairly solid win. Nick still has really good body parts, like the arms, and again, the legs and lats are pretty good just examining them by themselves, but when they all come together and orbit around the waist, I gotta mark him down. Overall, I see this as a pretty standard win for Hottie, so two points to him. Now we have another big loss for Nick here in the front lat spread. This pose is just bad, plain and simple. But to be honest, I don't even like Hottie that much more here. It's objectively 100 times better than Nick's pose, but there are just some things that really bug me. Mainly the pointy delts and the skinny forearms. I even thought making this a two point win for Hottie just because of how bad those delts are, but I realized how foolish this was. He's so much better in shoulder to shoulder width compared to Nick. He has more lat width, more lat presence in this pose, and doesn't have a turtle shell for his stomach here like Nick. This is a really unfortunate pose for Nick. He has a ton of problems to fix, but in the meantime, this is nothing less than a three-point win for just about anyone going up against him. We're moving past the front shots, and we're now getting into some more favorable territory for Nick, starting in the side chest. Bahati is really well-rounded, and he's not leaving a big gap here for Nick. Take a look at the side leg. This is actually fairly close. Hadi does have that really deep separation between quad and hand, but Nick has really deep separation himself, but more glute detail. And overall, I think he's just bigger here, mainly thanks to more hamstring drop. And with that, and on top of that, an overall more grainy look, I have Nick taking the side leg. Then going upstairs to the upper limb, I know it sounds crazy, but I think I have Hadi here. He just has a little more separation between 
dealt in arms, but it does look sus, especially that far dealt. And then in the pecs, it's a battle. In terms of the far pec, they're about similar in both the detail and how much their pecs just jut out from their body, but Hottie looks a little more impressive because his pecs aren't so bunched up. They take up more surface area on his frame. They're more square looking. For all intents and purposes, it's pretty much a tie, but just by itself, I'd give the chest to Hottie. He just has the more appealing square look to his pecs, an equal pec height and detail. And finally, from the overall perspective, both guys score a pretty big win. Hottie looks really impressive in shoulder to shoulder width in this pose, and he's posing very tall, so he just looks better in terms of his actual posing, what can I say? But Nick looks more filled in than Hottie. Nick looks maxed out. And that didn't help him in the first front shots, but that's a big win here. Nick looks a bit more muscular pound for pound. So all in all, this is a very close pose. It could go either way, and as I wrote the script, it definitely did. But because it's so close, I'm just going to give the one point win to either gentleman, so it's going to be a less impactful pose, but I am giving that one point win to Nick. He has great pecs, close to hotties, a good arm and delt. It's worth noting that he does not have the lumpiness and the pointiness in the delts. That was one of the deciding factors, and Nick has the better side leg. The biggest indicator for me, though, was just how filled in and how filled out Nick looks. It's like a most muscular light for him. He's so stacked with great body parts, so I'm going to give him a narrow one-point victory here. Nick tries to continue to make up some lost ground here in the back poses. Has Hadi's back gotten better recently? Yes. Has Nick's gotten slightly worse? Yes, although that's probably due to peaking and posing issues. But even here, there's still a gap between these guys. Hadi does have some good density in his back, but Nick has the overall better one for this pose. His insertions on his lats are much better and give his back that more filled in appearance, whereas Hadi's lower back is kind of barren. Nick also has very good upper back detail. I would say Hadi has just a touch more though. Probably thanks a lot to his dryness, but again, Nick is the more well-rounded overall. Nick also wins the arms and delts. Hottie's delts look sus yet again, especially that right one, and Nick's peaks on the biceps are just crazy even from this rear angle. And then the lower body is the final nail in the coffin for Hottie. Now don't get me wrong, he's good, he has everything, but Nick's lower body from the rear is perhaps the best in the world. The glutes are finally showing some decent striations, not the most though. Genetically, that's just not Nick's strongest point, but they are definitely peeled. Now the hamstrings are just out of this world. They're double the size of Hottie's, the thickness on them is just unreal. And say what you will about Nick's quad sweeps from the front, but they actually look pretty good from the rear. And when Nick's lower body is in balance with his upper body, his main weakness is gone. The legs are now in balance with the upper body and the stomach is literally out of sight. So his other main weakness is absent too. And while Hadi may win some aspects of the back, Nick is just more well-rounded and more filled in, so I'd give him just the slight nod up there. And of course in the arms, delts, and the entire lower body, he wins all of those areas easily. Hadi's pose is pretty solid, he even wins some things in the back, so that does prevent Nick from getting the clean sweep, but this will be a solid two-point margin for Nick. The rear lat spread gets a good shakeup. Now the pose is split half and half because we're shifting our priorities. The back is now all about the width, and that is Hottie's motif. He's not the tallest, but he has a surprising amount of width for his height, and he definitely beats Nick here. Nick still does have those favorable lat insertions. Overall, his back looks like a nice uniform shield, but Hottie's back looks like two shields on both sides of his spine. And Hottie just doesn't win width, he actually wins detail and thickness, because oddly enough, his density and details are more visible here than they were in the last pose. Compared to Hottie, Nick's lats look a little thin, and Hottie has the much better spinal columns. His traps are thicker and more visible, and this trend continues down to the erectors, where they just jut off his back. Nick does have these things too. He has okay lap fullness and spinal columns, but Hottie is in a tier above. And based on this pose, his back looks a little drier overall, so he has more thickness combined with thinner skin to make these areas even more prominent. But going downstairs, it's the same story but flipped. Hottie's lower body is again very solid. He has the detailed glutes, peeled hams, good quad sweep. Nick is just on another level. So that leaves the pose split, with Hottie winning the back, but Nick winning the lower body. However, as simple as this may sound, Hottie just wins where it matters more, the back. And also out of a lineup, I know for a fact that Hottie wins this one against just about everyone because he's really, really wide and this photo honestly isn't even the best for him. I've done comparisons with Nick, Hottie, plus three others and Hottie is my pick in this pose every single time. Nick isn't far behind, but I don't think that matters. On a real stage, Hottie's width is going to be even more apparent, but if Nick can just bring in a touch more width and slightly more thickness in the low lats, Hottie won't be that far ahead of where he is now. I'm not even totally convinced he's super far ahead at this pose at this given point. But by winning the back, I think Hottie just narrowly skirts by with a very narrow one point win. Now even though these last few poses have been pretty okay for Nick for the most part, we're still in favorable territory for him because now we're going to the side tricep. But yet again, it's pretty close. In a pose that Nick should be winning against 99% of competitors, Hadi is giving him a run for his money. And this is a pose where I'm usually not even that impressed with Hadi, but he improved the shot this year too. Let's start on the side leg because really nothing changed overall between this and the side chest. Nick has a little less glute detail here, but he has more detail overall, especially in his quad, and he still keeps that grainy hard look intact. And he has 
has more size, yet again, so he wins. Now, in the midsection, honestly, this is incredibly close, which comes as a surprise since we're talking about Nick. But from this angle, he has the better abs themselves. He has the better blockiness and separation here. But Hadi has the much better obliques and the much tighter waist. I could really have either guy win here. Then in the pecs, Nick is much rounder and fuller, but Hadi has more detail. And finally, what about the tricep? Well, usually this is where Hadi lets me down. But Hadi has recently added some more tricep mass, and Nick isn't fully locking out his arm in this shot. I still have Nick winning here, but he's more vulnerable than he should be. Now, from the overall perspective, Hadi's more streamlined, but again, Nick is looking massive, like he was in the side chest. So this pose can come down to what you want more, detail and that streamlined look, or overwhelming mass. Honestly, this is too close for comfort for Nick Walker. It's not a very good sign, but for me, I appreciate his pose more for what it is. I get it, Hadi has all the details, he's streamlined, but to me, Nick is detailed and streamlined enough to let that extra mass pull him ahead to victory in this shot. Like I said, it's a lot closer than anticipated though. I think this is only enough for Nick to win by one point. Coming up on the end of the comparison, we are finally leaving Nick Walker territory, and really we're ending that streak of semi-competitive poses. Nick has fallen off in the abs and thighs, and you know, I really was always a fan of him. I know he never had the best structure, but his abs and thighs actually used to be good. I would always defend it. But now he's ruined this pose with one simple factor, the rounded stomach. He can no longer crunch down on what used to be phenomenal abs, and with the stomach looking bigger, the quads also look more out of place than they used to. I desperately hope Nick can get this one back on track. If we can get that 2023 Arnold version of Nick back or even something like 2022, it would really elevate what he can do in the lineup because it would fix one of his major weak links. For now, Hottie is winning this by the full three-point margin. Any silver lining Nick may have cobbled together is just going to be shrouded by the stomach. And really, was there ever a silver lining to begin with? Nick is for sure losing the abs. We have the guy with the most ripped core on the planet next to a guy that can't even crunch down all the way. And in the legs, I said earlier that in a vacuum, Nick's legs are very respectable, but Hottie's legs in this pose can probably just beat Nick's outright. Right. Nick has very clear and prominent separation, but Hadi has a lot more density packed in there with some good separation himself, with a nice little cherry on top with some good feathering. And obviously his legs are a lot more in balance with the rest of what he brings. But really, I should stop stating the obvious here. Let's just go ahead and give this one to Hadi with three points. And finally, we have the most muscular, a pose where it can really go either way. Both guys are excelling in different areas. First off, Nick is the most muscular individual up here. He is just more filled in per square inch, plain and simple. Hadi does have more width across the shoulders, which helps in a pose like this and compensates for some of that lost margin and muscularity, but Nick is winning the first key aspect of the pose. Now, in terms of the quads, I actually prefer Nick's now, although it is very close. Hotties are harder and grainier, but Nick has the clearer separation. Although I think the main reason I like Nick's quad more in this pose is the fact that he's hitting this particular shot. His waist isn't a factor. His legs can actually look decent because they aren't fighting with his wide waist because he's quite literally hiding it. Now, speaking of the waist in the entire midsection, honestly, the best thing about this pose for Nick outside of being more muscular is just taking that waist out of the equation. Is he losing the midsection itself? Yes, his abs are okay, but he's again not crunching down on them all the way like he used to. Hadi has him beat here in terms of roundness and good chunkiness to the abs while also schooling him in separation all the way through the obliques as well. But Nick really isn't bad here, not as bad as he was in the last shot, but the fact that you don't see the true width of the waist is such a key factor for Nick. Now moving up, Nick also does lose the chest. He doesn't look super thick here, and Hadi doesn't either, but Hadi brings a lot more detail. And then in terms of the arms and delts, Nick sweeps here. Hadi has good biceps, but Nick does too, and he has the better forearms and fuller triceps. He definitely has the more capped off delts too. Overall, they trade off in body parts, and this really boils down to if you want more detail or mass. To me, I really don't think there's wrong choice. Now, I have been going with Hadi over Nick in several comparisons with these two, but I've always said it could change on a whim. And today is a Nick day. Again, I don't really think there's a wrong choice here. Hadi impresses me a lot with that grainy detail, but I'm going to be a little nice to Nick and reward his superior muscularity and freak factor. It would have just been a one point win for Hadi anyway, so don't get your posing trunks in a twist. It's not going to be the most impactful pose on the list. But I did ultimately decide that with the freaky mass, the mutant will take the final pose of the comparison. Now we've reached the overall physique categories portion of the judging. We're stepping outside of the specific poses, and we are judging the whole physiques on four categories, shape, muscularity, flaws, and conditioning. Let's start with a surprisingly narrow victory, but a victory for Hadi nonetheless. In terms of conditioning, Hadi is not matched by many. However, I do think Nick is just about the only one that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in this regard. Derek may be able to do it from the back, but he falls off a lot from the front and side, and some can do it from the front but fall off in the back, but Nick has very balanced condition across the board, and 
very good condition across the board. And several areas like the quads, hamstrings, and back, at least in the rear double, were more separated than Hottie. But overall, Hottie in real life and in videos clearly has the upper hand in terms of hardness and graininess. Nick has those qualities too though, but I feel that Hottie just has a bit more of it overall. He has that old man muscle. Really, I almost kept this as a tie with Nick having the clearer separation, but Hottie having the superior dryness and hardness. But I ultimately decided to give Hottie a one point win for the midsection and the chest. I felt Nick was sorely lacking in these areas and Hottie didn't lack that much in anything else. But even then, Nick still had the side tricep where the midsection was really good, but in other poses it definitely wasn't. And the chest was consistently not that detailed next to Hottie. Basically, Hottie is just slightly more even across the board, but even that is a stretch. All in all, Hottie is probably not beatable in terms of overall conditioning, but Nick is definitely going to be the closest. Now, in terms of muscularity, this is going to make up some ground for Nick and then some. He's just as complete as Hottie, but was clearly much bigger overall. To his downfall, actually, but that's going to be for other categories to judge. Here in this one, it's obvious that Nick has the advantage, so he's going to win muscularity by two points. And let's continue to stick with obvious wins and very quickly touch on the shape category. Hottie can still look blocky for some fans out there, but there is absolutely no way Nick even gets a whiff of Hottie in this category. So Hottie will get the last of two three-point margins in this comparison. And finally, we have the flaws category, which was kind of tough. Nick's is obvious, but I don't like over-punishing flaws. If a guy already heavily lost in other categories based on these flaws, I don't want to punish him any further than necessary. But with Nick, you can actually separate his flaws into different categories. If his stomach was completely flat, he still would have lost the shape category because the structure is just not pleasing to look at. He would still be losing all those main shape shots, if you will, the absent thighs, front double, and front lat. But there is a separate problem from this entirely. He has another problem on top of the structure, that being the bloated stomach. It's two separate things. I always defend Nick, but the New York Pro version of him is a little too much for me to cover for. Now for Hottie, he has the delts. The lumps were visible from multiple angles and multiple poses, and it's just frankly dumb. Like, I hate even talking about it, but it's a flaw, make no mistake about it. A pretty major one. But let's just ask ourselves who's going to be held back more on stage by the respective flaws. Are the judges going to punish Hottie for his delts more than Nick for his stomach? I think the judges will honestly hate both a lot, but Nick's problem is so tied in with the shape factor that his would probably hurt him a bit more. I could really again make this one a tie as well, but I want to kind of put something in every category, so I'm going to end this section of judging with a small one point win for Hottie. Alright, now we've reached the conclusion portion of this video, and it's time for the final results. I think most of us thought Hottie would win, I thought that myself, and it turns out if you did think that, you were right. Hottie Chupin won this comparison comfortably with 66.6 .6 points to Nick's 33.4 points. Hottie won both categories of this comparison fairly easily, resulting in that pretty safe margin for him. I think those overall physique categories are pretty easy to explain, shape, conditioning, and flaws are just about always going to swing towards Hottie when going up against someone like Nick. For Nick to win against a lot of guys with his current version, Version, he has to kill them in the mandatories and run up a lot of margin there. Because in terms of an overall balanced physique, his body parts may be balanced, but on different metrics, he definitely isn't. If he was a video game character, he put all of his stats in mass and conditioning, and that obviously leaves shape and other things behind. And it was behind a little too much, which resulted in losses not just in the shape category, but the flaws category as well. Hottie is clearly more well-rounded from that overall physique perspective. And then in terms of the mandatories, Nick didn't rack up the margin he needed to win this comparison. He didn't even win this round. Nick is complete on the body part to body part basis, but Hottie is too. But Hottie also has the shape as well. That easily won Hottie three poses right out the gate. Front double, the front lat, and absent thighs, which in total netted him 8 points. And then of course he also picked off the rear last spread. Nick is complete and that helped him when the shape aspect was taken out of the equation, that's why he was able to win the rear doubles, side shots, and the most muscular, but not by enough. Again, Hottie is also complete body part wise, which means that while Nick may be able to win several poses, it's going to be close and it's not going to be by enough, especially when he hemorrhages a ton of his margin in those 3 shots I mentioned earlier. He just couldn't make up the ground here. He's the modern master of the mandatories, but Hottie was too complete for Nick to win how he normally does. And with that, Hottie opened up a pretty big lead on Nick and kept it till the end. And as for my prediction for the O, I fully expect Nick to place behind Hottie. However, I will say he can get a lot more comparable if he just brought the waist in a little bit more and brought his old graininess and hardness. He used to have a smaller waist and be even more grainy than he is today. Thank the 2022 Olympia or 2023 Arnold, both happen to be better than today's version. If he brought something similar to those versions with a smaller waist and better peak, I do think he can get actually pretty close to Hottie. Maybe even top 3 overall with Hottie somewhere in that mix too. But even with those better versions, why not just go with Hottie? Hottie will always have better shape, so even if he's slightly less muscular but just as conditioned but has that better shape, the judges are obviously going to go for Hottie more so in this modern mass with class era. But as of right now, we don't even know what we're going to get from Nick. Given his last version, I do think he'll do well, but not well enough to beat Hottie Chupin. Like I said, we all knew that this was 
going to be Hottie's comparison to lose, but I wanted to see the margin, and honestly, it was fairly comfortable for Hottie. And while it would have been closer if Nick brought a better version, will we even get that? Again, he cannot play the shape game with a lot of guys, and Hottie is too similar in the other aspects Nick is usually winning with flying colors. Hottie is just as complete as Nick, a bit sharper, and a lot more shapely, especially based on Nick's last version. And with the judges focused on that last bit more and more, I fully predict Hottie Chupin, the winner of this comparison, to place ahead of Nick Walker. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. What did you guys think of this comparison? Do you actually have Nick ahead of Hottie in your predictions, for some reason? And how close do you think these two guys are? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. By the way, if you guys want to support the channel, then be sure to check out Arms Race Nutrition. Shop the high quality supplements, then at checkout, be sure to use my code PROJECT10 for 10% off your entire order. That's code PROJECT10 at armsracenutrition.com. And finally, with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah.